The company closed the first half of the financial year with a cash position of 8.4 billion shillings, which includes ring fence funds projects, receipts from the government for the last mile, and street lighting programs as well as funds for scheduled loan repayments. Electricity sales recorded 366 gigawatts increase to 4,562 gigawatts, an 8.7 percent growth compared to a similar period last year. In the period under review, Kenya Power reported 3.82 billion shillings profit after tax compared to 138 million shillings posted in a similar period in 2020. Meanwhile, farmers will get their soil tested at farm level to improve and manage the soil fertility. The Kenya Agricultural Livestock Research Organization has been undertaking research that will result in improved capacity and efficiency of analytic services and fertilizer use in soils. According to Dr. Esther Gikonyo, the soil fertility and plant nutrition scientist based at Calro Kabete, the soil fertility in the country has been declining because of continuous cropping without sufficient application of nutrients, without proper management of the soils leading to degradation. And without uh, proper management of the soils. For us to be able to manage the soils, we have to do soil testing. We need to look at the management of the different soils to be able to increase production that will lead to food security in this country. Finally, the construction of the Lichota airstrip in Migori County has been completed offering business opportunities to traders, farmers and those in hospitality industry. The business community in the area says the introduction of freight services at the facility will enable them to access international markets. And the occupants has gone high. So we have been operating occupants of 30%. And so we are talking from now, it has gone up, up to 70%. Through the charter we can uh, have an occupancy uh, of around like uh, in a week. We can get almost 100 guests coming from the charter. Reporting for Easy Friday, I am Teresa Mutai.